Hey everybody, it's Kay, and today I am doing a book review on this book, One House Over by Mary Monroe. Now, I know you're probably wondering what in the world is this chick doing in this video with this big old hat on. Well, they wanted us to wear hats at church today, so I thought, why not wear it in the video, something different, you know. Uh, let me just start off by saying no spoilers in this video. That's number one. Number two... I did not like the way this book ended. I didn't. I didn't at all. It is pain it was painfully obvious as I approached the ending chapters of this book that this book is going to be a part of a series. This is book 1. I just didn't like the way it ended. I was like, "Really, Mary Monroe? That's how we're going to end this book?" Really? Whew. Okay, so let me give you the setup. The story takes place, or it begins in the 1930s. You have Joyce, who is 30 years old. And in the 1930s, 30 years old, being single, you were like an old maid. Um, Joyce lives with her parents, who own a store, like one of those general stores. And that meant that they were kind of, you know, well off. Any black people that owned anything back in those days, they were considered to be well off. Add to that that Joyce was a teaching assistant at the colored school, so she was pretty well off. She wasn't the best looking lady, but she was nice and kind and loving. And enter, enter Odell, who in my opinion was an opportunist, he meets Joyce and he's not very attracted to her, but he does like her as a person. And he sees what a kind and wonderful person she is on the inside. They get married and move into a nice little house and start to build a life for themselves. And then comes a couple who moves in one house over, Yvonne and Milton. And Joyce and Odell at first are very happy to have neighbors around their age that they can hang out with, talk with, party with. But as they get to know this couple, they uncover some things about them that they're not very happy about. And they build a love-hate relationship with this couple, but it's hard to hide from people when they live one house over. It's also very hard to keep them out of your business. And so Joyce and Odell try to find the best way they can to manage being friends with this couple, but at the same time trying to keep a little bit of distance from them, which proves to be very difficult. I can't say much more about the plot of the book without giving spoilers, so I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'll talk about the mechanics of the book. Mary Monroe is a storyteller. She has a great way of delivering characters and situations. And you feel about those characters, I think, the way that she wants you to. Um, whether it's love them, hate them, you know, feel empathy or disgust. She does a great job at drawing you in so that you do feel that way about these particular characters. Um, she, you know, her writing is very formulaic to me. And what I've noticed, I've read, I've read a lot of her books, is that her books always have a character that is willfully ignorant. You always have one it, that is a purposeful liar and deceiver. And you have parents that are either dead, cruel, or annoying. I have found that across all of the books by her that I have read. Those, those same elements um, play a role in, in her books. She does a great job in writing setting, especially when she's writing about the old days, you know, the 1930s and 40s or what have you. She does a good job of placing you in that setting as you're reading her books. I enjoyed the book, but I had to remind myself I was looking for a big climax. You know, maybe it's because I read so many thrillers and mysteries. I was waiting for that big climax, but then I had to remember I'm reading a character-driven novel. And the book is, although there are plots, the book is really about the people. And these people are a mess. That's what they are. Um, like I said, I did not like the way this book ended at all, 
but I'm curious enough to read the next book in the series to find out what happens to them. I don't know the next review I'm going to do it might be on maxed out hopefully I can get that one finished within the next week so I'll see you guys later bye bye